Okay, so if you're watching this, you are on LinkedIn. Hello. Um, today's walk and talk is uh, about LinkedIn, but also the podcast guests and uh, a couple of guys who uh, have come into my, what do you call it? My sphere of influence. Is that even a term? Uh, anyway, I just finished recording a um, Whole Man Academy podcast with Adrian Scheel, who is a LinkedIn expert for coaches, um, who I uh, noticed some of his posts, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. And I was like, hey, this stuff's good. Um, so I started following him, obviously signed up for his e-letter, et cetera, et cetera. We'll come on to something to do with that in a minute. Um, but yeah, I invited him on the podcast and uh, we talk not just about LinkedIn and optimization, but about uh, leaving the nine to five, um, how hard it is sometimes when as a man or man, woman, doesn't matter, but when you're working on your own and uh, you know you have to try and stay motivated, focused. Um, plus the big issue around, now this sounds uh, odd to say, but sometimes if you can get a nice big payout when you leave a company or job or role or whatever, um, but that doesn't kind of force you to take much action when you launch your new career because you've got that buffer of uh, some nice cushy money to keep all the uh, bills paid and mouths fed for a while. Um, so that's something certainly I found as well when I left the city. Yes, you get a lot, uh, you know, large deposit of money put in your bank account, but that doesn't light the fire in you to get things started because you can kind of take it easy for a while. Um, so we talk about all of that and plenty more. And um, we also talk about people like uh, we covered Daniel Priestley um, and Justin Welsh, who you'll see uh, I might have put on the thumbnail if I remember and my technical abilities are capable of. Um, and Justin's someone who Adrian uh, put me in touch with, or not in touch with, but you know, flagged up his content. Um, and the funny thing was a couple of weeks before then, I'd actually, without realizing who he was, I'd screenshot um, a tweet, I think it was, or was it a LinkedIn post that Justin Welsh had actually put out about you know polarizing content, how important that is, uh, not doing boring content because you know if you're going to bore people, they won't even bother to actually kind of you know engage with you, learn from you, follow you, um, connect with you, etc. And it was funny when I spoke to Adrian, he mentioned uh, Justin Welsh, and I was like, hey, that's the guy whose tweet I printed out, and he's on my whiteboard or on my office wall. Um, so it's funny how the world works. Um, but yeah, so enjoy the podcast. It's coming out uh, next Friday. So what's the date today? The fourth. So what's seven? days after the fourth. I can't do that kind of maths, but it's the following Friday and it will be on YouTube um, and Spotify and uh, what else is it on the podcast on iTunes as well. Um, but yes, yeah, so the other thing we were talking about is always to give someone a good idea of something. What I did recently was unsubscribe loads of shit emails and stuff like that, or even even good people that I enjoy reading their content, but I realise I just don't get time to read it all. And it just clutters up my mind, clutters up the, you know, the, the, uh, the software in the background of your mind. So I decided to unsubscribe from that stuff um, and just focus on a couple of things at the moment. So the big thing to focus on is how do I reach more men, uh, you know, impact more men, get them to come to events where guys get together to talk, um, think about their life and take action on it as well. So, you know, thinking uh, is all very well, but if you're not taking action on it, it's a bit of a waste of time. Um, so uh, yeah, I will be concentrating on LinkedIn a lot. Now, I say in the podcast, I really like Instagram. I, I can't be bothered with Facebook. Facebook can just, you know, just I might as well just delete it. But I like Instagram. But the problem is, Instagram is very visual. I mean, that's, I believe, if I'm correct, that's why it was started, um, you know, more to do with pictures than words. But the problem is, most people just like uh, posts and then they scroll through them and they don't actually read them. So you can have put some unbelievably good content on how someone can, you know, a man can optimize his life and make money and get six pack abs and find the woman of his dreams and blah, blah, blah. And they don't actually read it. Whereas I found with LinkedIn that in theory, um, as Adrian says on the podcast, it's more of a thinking man's social media platform. Um, feel free to give me your views on that because obviously there's going to be some twats on there and some rubbish, but that's, uh, you know, such is life. You can't wheedle everybody out. But it felt like a better platform to reach professional men to talk about how you can help them you know, optimize their life and live their own version of an epic life. Because I've said before, you know, my version of an epic life as he falls over um, is completely different to someone else's. Now I value freedom. I value spending time with my family, uh, being out in places like this, which is quite nice. And it's a bit different to uh, central London, uh, certainly less pollution and less people, you know, that you have to sniff their armpits on the uh, commute home. Um, so yes, that's how we're going to be uh, focusing in the next couple of months uh, going forward, especially into 2023, is that next year, is LinkedIn. Um, and in theory, there'll be one post, he says, uh, one post every day at 10 o'clock. So you'll know what time it's going to come out, which is the same time as our Whole Man Academy e-letter, which goes out on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays to men all across the world. 
and we call it game-changing content to help other guy do life better. Uh, anyway, that is about it. I try and keep these videos under five minutes because people's attention span is uh, is diminishing gradually day by day, which is quite uh, worrying, to be honest. Um, so let me know what you think. And the other thing is uh, a little call to conversation or call to action, as it were, at the end, which would be um, any thoughts on the video, good or bad. I mean, not bad. I know you're going to love it anyway, but feel free to comment below. Um, and also, the most important thing is that we have a whole Man Academy e-letter, which goes out, again, Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, to men all across the world who really enjoy it, um, some of them. So feel free to sign up. I'll put the link in the uh, either bio or in the comments, wherever it is, um, and come on board. And hopefully if you can come to a whole man academy event at some point or dinner for men something like that our next one's coming up in a couple of weeks time um i'd be you know happy to see you there give you a man hug and uh, hopefully kind of connect with each other right it is a friday i'm uh, finishing early today to get the kids to the fireworks um so i wish you a fun weekend and i'll catch you next week oh and remember the world needs strong men right i'm out of here